What's up everybody and welcome to a brand new episode of the Game of the Week show. I'm your host Matt Southwell and joining me this week is Ashley Dye. Alright. Alright mate, how's it going? Yeah good, it's a bit, uh, a bit weird just being the two of us. Yeah, we, uh, we don't have a third person today because Dan decided he had better things to do. And we have no other friends. We don't, no, so <laughs> you have to make two of just the two of us, but you got the best, realistically, the best two. So yeah, we've fun. been held back before, but now it's going to be... That's it. We, we, we just have a third person to be kind, really. <laughs> <laughs> but anyone out there that doesn't know what the Game of the Week show is, it is normally three friends. <laughs> <laughs> normally three friends that sit around this table every Monday to discuss the latest topics in the video game industry. We then also go through the video game releases of that week and also discuss which one would maybe be our favourite from that week. So getting straight on with the news, and I realise it's a week a lot of times there, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> number one this week, the big the big news of the week. Yeah. There's another two weeks. <laughs> GTA five. There's been a new trailer yeah. that's come out. What's so special about this one? The first person. Play as first person, yeah. Um it's full on first person. It's not just, you know, with, with the, the previous uh, generation it was uh, I think when you're in your car, you could have first person. Um, parachuting, maybe you could have first person, I'm not sure. But with this, you can have full-fledged. Yeah, it looks uh, it looks pretty cool. The trailer looks does. awesome. My does. Might actually even include the full trailer here, rather than just a little snippet. But everything's there, isn't it? You've got the full cockpit view and like the, uh, the fighter jets. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. That looks really cool. That does look good. And yeah. um, obviously, it's not just... You've kind of got the, the gun there when you're first person, so it, yeah. it feels like a proper first person For, game. First person shooter kind of game woods. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. you're sort of Call of Duties and yeah. And you get does. the effects of like kind of like the gun recoil and like you see the bullet flying out. So it's not just yeah. they've put a camera and moved it closer, they've actually thought about it and actually going and put in the detail as well. Um, you know, they, they have actually reworked it quite a lot if you if you can yeah, compare I'm, it. I was playing GTA five this morning on the on the PS three. Um, and you know, looking at that, and uh, you know, thinking what 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 difference is going to make as first person, it's, it's going to be really good. Yeah, I initially, I mean, we've spoke about this game before quite a lot. I've realised over so. the weeks we have, we have, and you and Dan were always going to be buying this for yes. the new gen. Yeah, and I was always it's, like, it's already pre-ordered. Uh, I was like, I've already played it. There's plenty of other games coming out, but seeing this trailer has actually made me now excited for this version. Yes. I think I sent you a message like saying something like, damn you, damn you Rockstar. I've yeah. Got, that's another game on my list now. Cause it's got to be. Playing that whole game, even though it's the same game, but playing it all the way through in first person, I think will just add a completely new perspective to how you play the game. Like, yeah. do you remember when you have to land the bike on the train? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! How much cool is that going to yeah. be having to do that in yeah. first person? But even things like explosions and um, you know, if, if you drop a grenade and you explode, I mean, flying through the air in first person and just just all those kind of things, I think are just going to look so much better in first person. <laughs> so everything you can do in GTA, you're just thinking about the suicide grenade. <laughs> oh yeah, the suicide grenade. No, but, I mean, that's that's something we always do in uh, in online. Yeah, I'm I'm now actually excited for this game. Um, it's yeah. out. November 18th on PS4 and Xbox One. Yep. Which is uh, not long now. A week away. A week away. Yeah. And then uh, January 27th for PC, so they have to wait a little longer, but something to be excited about. Definitely. I think, um, you know, I was always going to get this game even before Rockstar announced this. Uh, I was always going to buy it again, purely because of the, the, the time factor. It's been a long time, and it, it, it's just, it's a game I never get bored of playing. Yeah. Talking, or not talking of games actually, but just moving on to, to number two. <laughs> not very good transition there, uh, Matt. No, no, no. Terrible transition. Yeah. But well, remember last week when we were making fun a little bit of slating. PlayStation ne Network for being. Well, we were bit, slating, I'm, but we were, yeah. We were pointing out the fact that it goes down a fair bit. Yeah. And that nothing ever happens with Xbox Live. You did state this. You did. And I said, when was the last time you heard something go wrong with Xbox Live? Yeah. Well, the answer is this week. <laughs> <laughs> so, on the, literally yeah. the day after the show went up, like the Tuesday, possibly even the Monday night, people started having problems with Xbox Live. Yeah. On, the, on the Xbox One exclusively, I should add, uh, some people were having trouble signing in. Now, like Xbox Live, obviously, I mean, it was still up. It was still running, but certain people just couldn't get into it. So 
you could say it's not as big a deal as the PlayStation Network, where like the whole it's network not, wasn't yeah, working. It's it not was, for long. But it, there, was, it, there was still a problem there. Yeah, there was a problem there, and they lost their chance of kind of you know the bragging rights of being look how good our service is. Yes. It, my opinion is, or well, not my opinion, but like kind of an observation on it is it tied in nicely with the Call of Duty release so I'm wondering if maybe that kind of additional server load maybe contributed to Possibly, it yeah because what was that that was Tuesday that was Tuesday or, or actually even Monday if you had the day zero edition of course so of course. I, it, 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 it's definitely coincidental that it tied in with that uh, I would think you know Call of Duty being as big as it is it wouldn't surprise me if it did result in server failures yeah the good news is now though that it's all well as far as we're aware everything is working <laughs> so I mean I personally I mean I won't ask you if you had a problem because you don't have an Xbox well yeah yet yet but yet. I, I personally didn't have any <clears throat> real problems with signing in I just had internet problems but I think yeah. that's more down to my internet rather than Microsoft um Moving on then, we'll move on now, swiftly, swiftly, efficiently this week, to number three, and some news from Ubisoft, another another kind of uh, maybe disappointing news, a lot of people got angry about this, Ubisoft have pulled Far Cry 4, Assassin's Creed Unity, and the crew, all from Steam, mm-hmm. uh, this was on the UK store only, and obviously when games disappear... They said that you could still buy them through their Uplay store. Yeah. But the internet got angry, of course. Well, it's going Do you think to. it's justified? Not really. No. In my opinion, I just think, look, as, as long as it's still accessible and you can understand Uplay wanting to use their own sort of store, if you like, their own Ubisoft using their own Uplay store. Yeah. Um, so, you know, and, and it's, it's, it's still available through there. Yeah, I mean, this was obviously digital only. Like the retail versions are still coming out. You can yeah. still buy the disc. Um, I know lots of people PC game. I'm not a PC gamer. You're not a PC gamer. Mm-hmm. So we we're not kind of tied into that infrastructure. But I know basically, if you're a PC gamer, you have Steam, and that's what your life revolves around. Yeah. And having everything in one place, I understand from a convenience point of view. But like you said, from a business perspective you understand exactly what Ubisoft are doing because they almost certainly have to pay Valve a percentage of some sort. Like, Absolutely. Yeah. Valve are not just going to be like, yeah, put it on our service, put it on our store, just sell it, we're not going to charge you anything. Yeah, that's it. I mean, why pay a commission for something and have a cost when you can actually point people to your own site or your own store where not only is it going to save you money there, but also you've then got the option of cross-selling so you can potentially get people in your own store selling additional items yeah so you know from a business perspective ubisoft i think are doing the right thing uh from a consumer some people are going to be annoyed but hey yeah. deal with it we should add as well they, they have said they're in discussions with valve and for the time <laughs> being it's not available so maybe they are working towards they obviously probably understand that a lot of people yeah do want to buy it there so they I'm sure that, well, I'm not sure, but it wouldn't surprise me if a solution, or like, it, it's not resolved at some point in the future. Yeah, I'm sure they'll figure it out. Um, but, you know, for the time being, you know, it, it's not great for the gamer, for the PC gamer, but... Hey ho, what are you going to do? Yeah. So, number four, more, uh, <laughs> just realised actually now... It's quite negative, isn't it? It's quite week? negative. It week. is. <laughs> Apart from uh, the first item about GTA. First, first, firstly, we kill off our third member. Yeah. And now we're, we're delivering bad news. It is. It is. Uh, so the, the PS4 share play feature that we uh, we spoke about kind of last week. and then This is the, the new PSN update as part of the new... part of the new PSN update. So yeah. So yeah. when it works, if it works, you can hand the controller to someone on the PlayStation Network kind of virtually and they can play the game without That's you, right. without them owning it. <coughs> Have you tested this yet? No. No, nor have I, so I might try and test it later. Okay. Just to see. Well, if you are going to test it, let's not test it on Call of Duty, because that's one of the <laughs> games that it's not working on. So, I I understood that this was just going to be a feature, it worked. Happy days. Yes. But that's not the case. Apparently so. Apparently, it's up to the publishers to, uh, they can willingly it. block it. Yes. Yeah. 
which is um, all of a sudden I, I think that makes the feature makes me less you know less positive because well it does yeah it, uh, all the top you could look at it now like all the big games they're not going to allow it because they want people buying their games rather than effectively playing them for free mm. no I know what you mean I mean I, I thought actually it wasn't a bad idea because there were certain rules within share play which meant that you couldn't just hand the controls over and let someone play the entire game from start to finish am I right yeah there was that every session was capped at one hour that's right so you know I think that there are rules in place to um, prevent people from effectively um, you know not having to buy the game themselves there are rules there to do it but I, yeah. no I, I don't know I mean the guys on uh, on the website GameStop they they did actually quite a good job they, they went through as many PlayStation games as they could try uh, find get their hands on uh, and they've come up with a list of 14 different games that allegedly don't work uh, with this feature which if you think of all the games that's on the not PlayStation a, yeah, it's, just, it's, it's not a huge one the ones that really just stand out <clears throat> to me were Ghosts and Advanced Warfare they had a, yeah. what you would call like the big AAA titles and, and Wolfenstein was on there as well that oh, was yeah. another one Yeah, but hopefully Maybe or hopefully the publishers are just kind of testing it to see if it's going to be working because they probably don't want their game kind of being in or someone experiencing the game in a less than you know exemplary form mm -hmm. because my the, the way the way this works for Activision like share play is someone that doesn't have the game tests his friends out and goes oh this is really good I'm going to now go and buy it that's right but if they use the share play then the share play doesn't work very well and the quality's poor they'll be like oh well the shooting's laggy it doesn't run properly I'm not going to bother with it this year I know what you so, mean yeah I mean you'd think maybe a normal person would perhaps take that into account you know you've got a slow internet speed whatever it might be um, and you haven't quite got the sort of smooth transitioning or, or there is a bit of a lag or whatever it might be um, you'd think most people would take that into account but yeah I, I know what you're saying um that could be a reason. I'm not convinced that is the reason that, that Activision has decided to, to block it, but don't know. Oh, well. Well, should we, uh, we'll should we move on? Should we actually give some positive Let's news? Let's go to some, some good news. Come on. Yeah, because this has been a bit... <laughs> Come, on. Come on. All right, positive news. Number five this week. This is positive news. You excited for it? I am really excited. I'm really excited for the game when it comes out in 2015. Yes. Should we tell them what it is? Yeah. Okay. Tony Hawk's... It was a pretty popular series when I was growing up as a kid, and you as well, and a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, I'm it's, sure. it's 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 past many generations. I think the Tony Hawk series. And uh, well, he himself tweeted out this week saying that I am currently working with Activision on a console game for 2015, along with a mobile game. I think fans of the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater series will be hyped. Good. And I, I think that last bit it is, is the key. That's the key. The Pro Skater series it's because telling you what type of game it is it's not those be, were the best games. Yeah, Pro Skater one, two, three, and four. Yeah, it's not going to be the ride series where you know, and I, I wouldn't have been my kind of game to be honest because you know I want to sit and have controls, not you know, stand on a plastic skateboard. Exactly. No, the um, yeah, the, the Pro uh, Pro Skater. Pro Skater. Yeah, yeah the Pro Skater. Yeah, because uh, Pro Skater four was the last one, and um, that that was that was good you know the career modes the college mode that you had in there as well it was how I'm just I'm going to kind of throw you under a bus here because we haven't like talked about this before but how do you think kind of a game like that which was it was a good game and a lot of fun yeah but it was very linear in like you had a couple of minutes and it was like small levels how can you build that up and make it grand for like a next gen game because as good as those games were if that game came to new generation you'd be like yeah. that's not really enough content there do you have more levels do you have bigger levels with no time limits I and would think you'll have it very much a sort of open world uh, where you can skate around maybe you have to collect things you I mean because they tried that didn't they I think it was American uh, American Wasteland was like an open world one and then there was one that might have been the same one you could, you could get off your board so you could like climb buildings and stuff yeah. like that and, yeah People didn't really like it. People just thought it was a kind of forced way of trying to expand the series. But 
I'd be interested to see. I don't, to be honest, I've asked you the question. I don't know the answer. Yeah, I, I think there, there's definitely a lot of scope. I mean, there's there's definitely a lot. I'm, I'm trying to think of other games that, that we can compare it to. I mean, there was the Skate series. Um, there's also a, a few, been a few snowboarding games over the years. The SSX series, the Sean White game. I'm just sort of trying to put all those sort of games into... Yeah, I think maybe, maybe the latest SSX is a good way to have it. Yeah, yeah. That was, again, like you still had your, your linear point A to point B. Yeah. Like... Platinum. All right. <laughs> no, that's actually quite impressive, to be fair. On SSX, yeah. How many hours? Uh, a fair few, yeah. Um, God. Hundreds? No, no, no. I'd probably say somewhere around 70 or 80. That's a good effort. Yeah. But again, with that, yeah, you had your peaks, and then within the peaks, you then had your different runs, and then you also had the online one where you could race against people's ghosts. So, you know, I'm trying to think of how you would incorporate lots of different types of gaming to just develop the Tony Hawk Pro Skater series. Yeah. Because you're right, it was just very, you know, now you have to go and see such and such in the, you know, college grounds, and then he asks you to get a score of 75,000 in a minute and a half. Um, so it was very forced, and, and I think the only way to really open that up is to, you know, put it more into an open world have lots of different things there. I mean, you know, like uh, a bit like GTA in a way, where you've got, you know, on the online, you can go there and do a mission, you can go there and do this, you can decide to do that if you want. There's a lot more choice yeah. there, uh, freedom to just do what you want when you want. It'll be interesting to see. And I also, we, what we don't know, I suppose, to be fair, is is it going to be a full fledged AAA $60, 50 pound game, or is it going to be like a DLC 20 pound game? Yeah. Because like, that obviously changes. It does. The scope and the size of the game. Yeah. So, but either way, they're going to be coming next year. <clears throat> Look, whatever it is, even if it is, you know, almost the same as Pro Skater 4, I'd probably still buy it because it's just such a good game. Yeah. And there's there's not enough games like it, I don't think, in my opinion. You know, there's been a long time. I think the last real game like that was SSX on the, on the previous gen. Uh, I don't think we've seen a, a game on current generation, have we, for not, yeah, not that skating, kind of... snowboarding, that sort of... No, not yet. Game, so but not in the terms of AAA, anyway. Yeah, but no, I'm. I'll be excited for it and definitely keep an eye on it. And uh, as any anything new breaks on it, and we get any more details. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep we'll you obviously updated. Let you know because we are big fans of the Tony Hawk series. Yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much it on the news front. So we will be back in just a minute, and we can talk about the the game releases this week. Obviously, there's one big one, and but there are a couple of other other small games there as well. Okay guys, welcome back and now it's time for the section of the show where we will discuss all of the game releases that came out this week. And first up, Ash, the big game of the week, yep. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Yeah. Everyone really knows what Call of Duty is, we don't need to explain it. We don't. Um, it's available obviously for pretty much all platforms out there, PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PC, your phone, your cooker, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> anywhere where you can get electrical devices and <laughs> yes it's it's the big deal of the year isn't it for, for a lot it of people is. out there I, oh, I know yeah. so many people where they a lot of guys and are not kind of putting into a section but maybe casual gamers they'll play Call of Duty every year and they'll play FIFA every year yeah and that's what they do and they love it um, are you I've... excited for it I am. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a, a very quick story. I mean, I, before I got my PS4 when it was released last year, um, I'd never really played more than a couple of minutes of Call of Duty games. And they've been going a few years now. Uh, when I got my PS4 last year, I actually got Call of Duty Ghosts as a bundle. Um, okay. They'd actually sold out of the other bundles, so that was pretty much all that was left at the time. So I thought, well, what the hell, I'll get it. It's a game. Um, and I did sort of enjoy it. I mean, the it, it probably wasn't brilliant. It wasn't as good as what I was expecting, but then a lot of people did say it probably wasn't one of the better Call of yeah. Duty games anyway. No, they did um, say that. But it, it was an okay game. So I, I think on that basis, I, I probably will be looking to get Advanced Warfare. I haven't got it yet. Um, I probably will be looking to get it. There's a few things I'm still tidying up at the moment. So, um, you know, looking at a lot of the gameplay trailers, looking at a lot of reviews and, and what people are talking about, um, I think it is definitely far better than the Ghosts 
game last year. Yeah, I mean, it's it's reviewing better than Ghosts already. Um, not that Ghosts necessarily reviewed badly, mm. um, because it's it's still a good game. In terms of context, it's still a yeah, good game, yeah, but yeah. in terms of Call of Duty, it's not necessarily up to its standard. Yeah. Now, I'm kind of the same as you. I loved Call of Duty, the very first Call of Duty, back when I was a PC gamer, and that was a World War II shooter on the PC. And it came out at a time where basically everyone had heard of Medal of Honor. Mm-hmm. That was like the big. It was a big game. The big game, and this game called Call of Duty came along. And I was like, "Wow, this is, this is going to be like bigger than Medal of Honor. This game is really, really good." Yeah, and I loved it. And my only issue with Call of Duty now is, I don't like playing online with people. I don't either. Uh, I'm very much a lone gamer. But is that because everyone is so much better than you? Partly, <laughs> because that's my issue as well. <laughs> that, I mean, like that's that's like a double issue. Like, uh, growing up because we've grew, we grew up in a time before the internet. Yeah, it makes it sound old, but like, not necessarily yeah. before the internet. Before internet gaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we grew up as people playing games single player on your own, snakes and ladders, whatever. Well, a <laughs> bit more advanced. Than that. Okay, yeah, yeah. Are you computer Pong. games? Yeah, <laughs> Tetris. <laughs> but <laughs> it's just I I I've never really liked playing online that much and also even more so than not playing online I can handle certain games online to an extent yeah like maybe like kind of cooperatively but I don't like games competitively closed mainly because sessions are maybe, again fine. like you said I'm so competitive I hate being bad at stuff and I hate losing and whenever I go online on Call of Duty I always just get destroyed and it's like well this isn't fun Yes, that's the thing. It takes the fun aspect out of it. Um, I found that as well. Um, there are games that are different, though, where, you know, sorry to keep going on about GTA, but GTA Online is, is a bit different in that, you know, you can... Well, you can do either or, can't you? Yeah, you can. You've got an option there. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm the same. Call of Duty, the campaign, it, that's, is great. You yeah, know, the campaign that, that, is that, good. That's basically just kind of rounding off my issue is, because it's Call of Duty is... Everyone loves the multiplayer that buys it. The majority of the people buy it for the multiplayer. They do. And I just feel like the campaign is kind of brushed to one side. And I really like the campaigns. I've played, I didn't play Ghost, but I, I played like Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, um, like all like the kind of earlier ones. And the campaigns were decent, but they were just too short. Mm. Like I would rent it from Blockbuster for a fiver, finish it on the weekend, and then take it back on the Monday. And I refused to pay £50. For a game that you can for do a game that I can just do in a week, <clears throat> yeah. basically in one maybe two sittings, because I'm not going to play the multiplayer. Yeah, and that's where my issue stands. But that is the big game for this week, anyway. <laughs> it <laughs> we'll, is. It is. We'll roll on to the others, and as you probably wouldn't be too surprised, there's not much else other than that because most people know Call of Duty is quite a big deal. It will shift a few units, uh, <laughs> And most people know if we go up against Call of Duty, we're going to lose sales. Yes. So as a result, most of this, there's two more retail, or there's a couple more retail games, but most of the stuff is obviously saving itself for other weeks. But first up, which is available on PS3, PS4, 360, and Xbox One, is Rocksmith 2014. Uh, this is a, a revamped edition of Ubisoft's Rocksmith game that came out a couple of years ago, and it is a guitar rhythm game. Mm. The difference with this to maybe Guitar Hero or Rock Band is that it actually lets you plug in a full electrical guitar and you can play like every note, every string, and it also teaches you how to play. Now, Ash, I showed you a quick trailer of it before. And yeah, so when you explained the game in theory to me, I thought, ah, oh, it teaches you how to play an electric guitar, it'll be, you know, just as easy as, you know, Guitar Hero is in that, you know, you've just got it. But of course, thinking about it, you know, playing an electric guitar and a, and a, and a game or, or telly showing you, console showing you how to to do that, it, it's a bit it's, it's a bit more difficult, I think, than well, yeah, it there's, there's, sounds. It, it, it can't teach you... There's, there's, pro, there's obviously... I mean, I don't play guitar. Um, I've tried and I've failed. Yeah, same. <laughs> um, there's, there's probably different techniques. Like, there's probably certain fingers and right fingers to use on different strings and frets and stuff at the right time and techniques of going from one to the other and it might teach you the chords and how to play them but I, I don't know if it go how in depth it is but I have heard that even if you've never picked up a guitar before 
if you play this game, it will teach you how to be a competent guitar player. Well, that's, that's and people, that's people generally do say that it does. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'm intrigued. I, I really am because I think you know when I when I looked at what this game actually is and what it does, um, my initial impression was that you'd have to be fairly sort of a basic player to start with. So you you can play the chords, sort of. Thing, yeah, I think you'd at least need to know. Um, yeah, yeah, some basics. I mean. I like the idea of it. I don't think I would ever buy it because, no. personally, for me, games are for fun, not for learning. Yeah. Uh, but if if you do ever want to learn guitar, this is probably a great way to do it. And the track list is really good. The track list is good. Yeah. I mean, you've Aeros, got... we've got here. Yeah, yeah. Aerosmith, Def Leppard, Foo Fighters, Green Day, Iron Maiden, Muse, Nirvana, Oasis, Queen, Rush, System of Down, just to name a few. So. Mm. It does I, look good. Uh, I, I, I like I, the idea. I think if you're if you're a, a sort of keen guitarist um, and you like uh, your games as well, then this is definitely the game for you. I yeah. think it, it's this is it is you, they didn't need to worry about being up against Call of Duty. It appeals to a different sort of gamer, completely different type of gamer. Yeah. So yeah. Um, moving on then to the next one. This one just very quickly. Uh, Wolf Among Us is coming out on the Xbox One. Uh, we've spoken about Wolf Among Us before. Telltale game, uh, click and point, graphic adventure. You know, tells the story of a sheriff or detective trying to solve a murder. Very similar to the Walking Dead games. And mm-hmm. have you played it? Or I have not. No, um, it's not really my kind of game. If I'm brutally honest, you need to be a bit more interactive. Do you? I do. Um, yeah. They are basically more like interactive kind of TV shows. It yeah. Should be. Yeah. It's, it's just never appealed to me. It's just something I don't think it ever will, really. Um, there are some things that I can, I'm willing to just pick up and try and give a go, but this just it doesn't. There's not much more to say. We've already spoke about the game. And, but if anyone who hasn't heard of it before, I would really recommend, if you like a good story, um, I would definitely recommend checking this game out because the story, story in Wolf Among Us is really good. And uh, like I said, Xbox One now, available at retail or digital uh, and PS4 as well. Okay, so moving on now, we've got some PSN games, mm. which uh, were quite interesting. Yeah, interesting is definitely a word I'd use, <laughs> yeah. Uh, first up, Don't Die, Mr. Robot. I love the title. It is a great title. What did you think of the uh, the, the, the game trailer? trailer. Um, well, it looks hard. It does look hard. It does look hard. Um, it, it's, it's the kind of game you'd want for when you're on the train or on the bus or whatever... Uh, it's not the sort of thing you sit at home I don't think in the lounge playing on the telly but it's ideal I think if you're you know five ten minutes yeah you know it's, it's you know anything's better than Candy Crush so uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you can only play that game for like a minute anyway and then you need to like invite all of your Facebook friends I well think. yeah that's true but, yeah, I, I've got yeah. I'm going through it I've got a new pledge now but <laughs> every time anyone sends me an invite to Candy Crush I'm going to publicly shame them on my wall <laughs> or, not on my wall on their wall and say I play real video games and then link them to this show. So yes, hopefully, hopefully we'll get some more views. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that, as you said, perfect for that kind of scenario, which is why it's a, a PS Vita game. It's yeah. obviously been designed around that. It's arcade game, just um, you know, very much sort of like uh, yeah. I mean, if you've played, I'm trying to think what it's quite similar to. I suppose Snake on the old Nokia. It's funny. That's, that's exactly what um, Sarah said to yeah. me, but. I feel like it's it's the opposite of Snake. You just because you're you're like this little kind of round little robot dude, Mr. Robot, Mr. Robot, obviously, yeah. And uh, he loves eating fruit, yeah. Uh, but when he eats the fruit, it causes an explosion, and you use those explosions to kill like kind of these they're, they're like in, in the robotic like snakes, caterpillars, aren't they? Snakes, they look, yeah. 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 So like they're going there. It's kind of I can see why you said Snake, but to me it kind of more reminds me of if I was thinking of anything, it was more like kind of. Do you remember Enix for the Sony Ericsson? No. No? Okay, we'll move on. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, it's, you'll see, you're the scene for me over there anyway. It's very quick, like, it's a dodge and, it's a kind of it's a mix dodge and arcade Snake game. It's a Snake and Pac-Man, maybe. Yeah, I suppose it's similar to Pac-Man. You collect things whilst avoiding the enemies. Dangerous creatures, so, yeah. yeah. It looks fine. Yeah, it's a fun game for on the go. Yeah. Moving on, another one actually very similar to this, but a bit more weird. <laughs> Minutes, available yeah. for... 
not only Vita but PS4 as well yeah um, do you want to try and explain what the deal is because I I watched I kind of understood it but it was a bit thankfully weird. you'll have a trailer playing right about now just showing <laughs> what the game is I'm specifically not going to put one in now, just uh... <laughs> okay I think looking at it I think the concept is that you are to collect colours whilst avoiding black if that makes any sense that sounds fucking amazing <laughs> I mean I should, I we shouldn't I, bash the game I mean like it's, it's, we're it's, not bashing the game it's just the, 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 tr- the launch gameplay trailer that I saw I could kind of see what you're supposed to do again it's very similar to this you're, you're dod- like you said you're dodging yeah. you, you, you control like a circular kind of thing yeah. <laughs> and you, you basically have to avoid the moving black parts in order to collect your colour parts Yes. and like when you fill your meter up that's when you clear the level correct um, it, it seems pretty simple if there's more to it I couldn't really tell from the trailer. I think, I think it is just that simple. It's very much just a dodge um, puzzle kind of game. Yeah. Uh, with lots of levels, obviously getting harder and harder. Um, and yeah, you, you have to, you know, sort of dodge the bad stuff, collect what you need. Collect the good stuff. Yeah. Win. It's a yeah. very simplistic game. Yeah. Um, but one I think, you know, it's going to appeal to a certain type of person. Those yeah. are like the sort of the puzzle platform. Then, then yeah it, it should be a good game again one for the bus or the train yeah another one maybe for the bus or the train or maybe not even that good I don't know <laughs> throw under the train <laughs> <laughs> the Playstation Vita the Muppet Movie Adventures uh, this looks like a it, it looks like a platformer but it, it has a puzzle elements into it as well uh, that is described on the Playstation Network as create movie magic as the Muppets star in their very own high seas western horror fairy tale and sci-fi blockbusters. Wow. So they really try to sell it. Um, again, it looks pretty it, it looks like a standard sort of platformer it, it is, kind of game. Is, you know, but I'm obviously not, the appeal is that it's the Muppets. So um, I'm not gonna knock it too much because, you know, it, it, it doesn't look that bad if I'm honest you know it, it's I'd, I'd probably play it if I was you know if you had it yeah, yeah. I it, it just looks you know a nice... Little Big Planet Super Mario all those kind of sort yeah. of games yeah. you know I and, mean and it's quite nice I, every now and again I really enjoy playing a game sort of like this where you know it is a kids game it's Peggy 3 it's you know it's nice and easy jump around just collect some things do a few puzzles it's and you get to be the Muppets at the same time. Everyone <laughs> loves the Muppets. Yeah, everyone's a winner. So, yeah. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't look that bad, actually. No, it's, uh, it's, I, it's okay. I, I haven't played it, but it just... To me, it just looks very ordinary. Like, there's oh, nothing, it, it, there's, there's, there's nothing different. There's to, nothing done to it than any other platformer yeah. that would make me want to go, oh, I need to buy this game. Yeah. But that... It's, other than the Muppets. Yeah, I mean, if it's... Um, it reminded me a bit of sort of um, yeah a lot of the games what was the one we were talking about the other week um, oh, it was the last week or the week before I don't know but it, it is just a bit like your standard yeah. platform kids sort yeah. of game right the final one this week uh, moving away actually from consoles we don't normally do PC games because we don't do PC games if that makes sense <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean we don't like, game. none of us play on the PC so yes, yeah. I mean this, this show is mainly aimed towards console games uh, but this one deserves a mention because it, it is popular especially in the UK Football Manager 2015 um, a lot of people take this game very seriously yes and growing up as a kid I was one of those and <coughs> it's it is actually a really good manager simulator like the level of detail mm. that you can do in this game is incredible. It it is basically the next best thing to actually being a manager yeah. for a football team themselves because everything from the training to the coaching to the interactive or interaction with the players, contracts, lineup, strategy, who takes the free kick, etc., etc. Everything that you can think that is used with running a football team, you do in this game, and. Um, it's it's huge. It's just hugely popular. I, I would imagine you've probably never played it because you're not a big football fan. But I might be wrong. I have when I used to really love football. Okay. Uh, fifteen years ago, 
Wow, well, was that when he was like championship manager? Still? That was a really was old really, football manager. It was, it was on a championship a, manager like nine, on a 90s. PC. It was still on a PC, but you yeah. know, bear in mind PCs back then were a bit different to what they are now. Uh, yeah, but, it was it was very not basic, but well, yeah, it was basic. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean the, the big difference. I mean everyone that is interested in football manager or has an interest in it will know what the game is now so we don't need to sit here for half an hour explaining everything yeah. but the big difference to this year's is the, the match day simulation the match day animations um, you might not even remember but the match days for me when I used to play football manager was basically just you had a picture of the pitch on the screen and there we go and yeah you had you had like little circles of the men yeah with a number on and uh, they would just move around yeah. and that was basically your match day that was right Whereas now you get full 3D pitch, it looks kind of like effectively like a game of FIFA or Pro Evo actually playing in front of you. Yeah. So you can actually see what's happening a lot better, and then you can obviously make your changes, make your adjustments from there. That that's that's the big jump this year, and that's the big thing that they're selling. And I'm sure there'll be a lot of people that will want this game and spend yeah many 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 hours many hours. Uh, uh, you know Chris obviously he's been on the show a couple of times I would love to know his combined football manager hours because he showed me once in his Steam account because you can see what number of hours played and I might be wrong and he'll tell me in the comments if I am wrong so he's a good way to know if he's watching <laughs> <laughs> but I'm pretty sure like it said like he'd played like over 300 hours wow that's and that was just one game and that's like a lot of hours <laughs> If it's you think, 300 yeah. yeah it's a lot so people wow. love this game and it's out this week obviously PC, Mac Steam whatever you can get it in yeah. and that's about it for the games this week so summarising do I really even need to ask you what would be your pick this week it's uh, there's only like I said unless you're a football manager fan there's only really probably one game yeah although I would, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it's going to be, it is going to obviously be Call of Duty because I, I, I you know, I will be looking to get it in the next couple of weeks, but um, I, I probably would actually get the Muppet Movie game as well. Yeah. For the Vita. Because I don't have enough games on my Vita, you know, and I think it's just a nice little fun one to have when I'm traveling for work and stuff. It's If you want to, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to the people which are clearly watching us <laughs> and have made the Muppet Movie adventure, <laughs> but if you want that type of game, get a little Big Planet. For the Vita. For the Vita. Because yeah. that game is awesome. It's it's arguably the best Little Big Planet okay. for the Vita. Okay. And, you know, there's there's lots of games for the Vita that you can get, probably before the Muppets Movie Adventure. No <laughs> disrespect to the Muppets Movie Adventure, but there are a lot of good games. <laughs> Unless you really like Muppets, then, you know, I'm not going to stop you. Well, I'm friends with you, so. so cheers, mate. <laughs> and you, what's, what's your pick? Um, yeah, probably... I, I really like The Wolf Among Us, personally, but... Yeah, I know, it's sure, your In terms... And if I had more time, I would like Rocksmith, because I've always wanted to play the guitar, but I just don't have the time. So yeah, Call of Duty. It's, it's, it's the big game of this week. It's the game that everyone wants to have. It is. And it's the game that everyone... The serious gamer. Well, yeah. not even that's every gamer. That's the point, like, because it's the, it's the game that's played by the casual gamer. Like, well, serious gamers play it and casual gamers play yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's the game everyone's going to be talking about, so you almost might as well go and buy it and play it, otherwise you're not going to know what people are talking about, and you're, you're going to be the uh, the outcast in the group, kind of like I always am. So. <laughs> but there we go. That's uh, that's everything for this week. We'll... Uh, <clears throat> We'll kind of leave it there. I'm starting to lose my voice. I've been speaking too much the last couple of days. Um, I'm sure Sarah will be happy about that, to be yeah. fair. Um, so if you've liked this video, please do uh, subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date with these. Uh, like I said, they are, they are weekly. They go up every Monday. Uh, if you want to speak to us about any of these games that we've spoken about or uh, any of the topics in the news, particularly GTA, we always like to speak GTA. We love talking GTA. GTA, then uh, do leave a comment. We will respond to you. Uh, but for now, Ashley. Matthew. Ashley. Matthew. Thank you for your time. Thank you. It's been enjoyable. A lot more uh, quiet and efficient than it's just the two of us. <laughs> Get on with it without any uh, pesky interruptions. <laughs> uh, but everyone out there, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next Monday.